Welcome, folks, to Glendale, Arizona, and State Farm Stadium, the site of this year's Verbo Fiesta Bowl, which, of course, is part of the college football playoff. It's time now for the quarterfinals for the top four seeds, a time to begin their quest for the national championship. But they run into a battle-tested team already coming off one playoff victory, trying to shock the world here today and make the semifinals. As we'll see the number 11 seed in this playoff, the Memphis Tigers taking on the number three seed in the playoff, the Appalachian State Mountaineers. 3A Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. And here we go, a college football playoff quarterfinal game. We'll see which team's gonna be moving on. team is out there great energy as this playoff game is about to get underway and it's fielded returner trying to create a big play here Ugh. and the returner will be brought down so Appalachian State's offense has the football first here today always enjoyed coming to the Fiesta Bowl over the years and of course you got the modern silver stadium here sitting in the desert ready for this showdown well, it's so many great memories here, Chris. Think back to the Boise State, Oklahoma back in 07. How about the classic between Oklahoma State and Stanford with Andrew Luck in 2012? And then the shocker just a few years ago with TCU over in Michigan in 2022. This game has a history of providing the unexpected. Boy, those counter plays are tough on a defense. Defense has got to be gap sound. You get so caught up in the base concepts if the offense comes back with a counter play, if you're not sound with your gap integrity, you can give up a big play. And this opening possession will face a third down and five. Try to catch the defense with the draw. Fights through the tackle. Brought down after a solid run by the senior. Well, I know it's here early in this game, but boy, that, that's what you want to see as an offense. You get to these third downs, it's all about trying to create opportunities and momentum. And that's what they've done here, converting to get a new set of downs. They make the stop, but not before a solid game that time. Well, Chris, if you go back to yesterday, remember the offensive coordinator? He seemed to be very confident in the script that he put together. Now we can see why. Controlling the line of scrimmage, allowing his back to have room to run, and when he can run the football like that, get ready for the play action and deep shots downfield. And he's out of bounds after gaining decent yardage. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Gives it to the back. They stop him, but it's a first down. One way to create a rhythm and really start to show your identity as an offense is to control the line of scrimmage. The offensive line here early getting a hat on a hat, and this back, as good as we've seen all year, with the ability to accelerate through the hole, positive yards, play after play here early in the game. Off target and incomplete. Important second down play coming up. There's some pre-snap movement. Back in motion. Back to throw. It's Aguilar. Looks to the left for a quick throw. He makes the grab. Brought down quickly at the 14, but the offense is in the red zone. Oh, aggressive be again on first and 10. Ball handed off. And they stop him at the four after an excellent run. Chris, if I'm not mistaken, this guy's already over 30 yards in the opening drive of this game. Another nice play right here. If this defense can't stop him, just keep feeding him the football. Sacked until lost back to the six. It just looked like the quarterback was holding on to the ball a bit too long that time. Allowed the defense to be able to get the pressure. And they come up with the first sack of the game. Receiver in motion now. Here's the handoff, testing the middle. Couldn't quite get there, brought down at the two. And the defense is doing everything that they can to try to keep these guys out of the end zone. Now we've got a big third down coming. Third and goal, try to make it on the ground. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, App State. 
come out in the playoff game for no signs of rust for the offense immediately. Yeah, no jitters at all. After the layoff, I wondered how they might be able to come out and communicate and they actually just the, the rhythm to the offense, but they did not hesitate. They set the tone early. Now they got themselves a lead. They're going to try to add the lead now with the PAT. BAT is good. They jump in front, 7 0. Getting set to kick the ball off now. Doesn't bring the kick out. Touchback. They'll start at the 25. So the Memphis Tigers offense takes the field. The first chance we had to see them today. All right, Kirk, let's take a quick look at the impact players for today's game and how they're going to affect the outcome. Okay. These are your leaders on the field and in the locker room. These are your go-to guys, not only when you need a play to be made, but also when you need somebody to rally your team. It's a short completion of a big tight end. He stopped out at the 42. That's a solid game getting closer to midfield. Well, this is what coaches love to see. A quarterback with the ability to read the defense properly and then just get it to the open man. Sometimes it sounds simple, but it's tough to execute. This time we have good recognition by the quarterback, and he gets it down to the tight end. You can see what he can do after the catch. Tackle made after just a short game. Second down after that run on the previous play. Motion by the back will make the defense adjust. The pocket breaking down. Junior steps up and makes an impact play. This is why this guy's considered one of the top defensive ends in the entire country. He came in off the edge so quickly there. Look out, because that's exactly what was being shouted by the offensive lineman to his quarterback, because he had no chance to block him. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. The pass rush closing in. And the pass rush has got him again back to back sacks. Well, it's another sack for this defense, Chris. If I'm not mistaken, they've had a lot of pressures. I think that's their second sack of this game. And this defense has a lot to do with why they have this nice lead here early in the game. And the punt team now on to kick it away. He's on to boot it away now. No fair catch. Looking to make a return here. And the coverage team gets the returner to the ground. The outstate offense goes back on the field. The last drive, the ground game was so successful. Ended in a touchdown. We'll see if the defense can respond to it this time. Here's the handoff. Powers through the tackle. They bring him down at the 44. That's a solid gain, getting closer to midfield now. And the player is down injured after that last play. We'll take a timeout while they check him out. First and 10 play coming up. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Launching it. Oh, and he doesn't hang on. Looks like it was deflected before he got to him. It'll bring up second down. Scanning the field, it's Aguilar. Going for a big play downfield. Pass caught, can he get in? And he will score! Touchdown, Mountaineers! Looked like a total bust there. Easy pitch and catch like you'd see in a Tuesday practice. Yeah, that quarterback's eyes must have lit up on that play because you've got one of your players way downfield without any defender around him.
And the punt team makes its way onto the field. And the returner elects to fair catch it. No return. And the Memphis offense is back out on the field now. They scored a touchdown on the last possession. Let's see if this defense has been able to come up with some adjustments and stop them this time. He's brought down, but not before the game to the 42-yard line. Well, much like what we saw in the first half, Chris, in his playoff game, no adjustments. Go right back to giving his running back the football. He's had a monster day. And Here's a fumble way behind the line of scrimmage. Defense recovers the fumble. Big takeaway. Man, Chris, we can hear the contact from that hit all the way up here in the booth. So, hey, it's easy to blame the ball carrier, but I don't know if anybody could have been able to hold on to the ball after that hit. The offensive coordinator has got to love this starting field position. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. He'll take a deep shot. He's got it near the end zone. Touchdown, Appalachian State. That puts him on top in the second half. Well, Kirk, this quarterback told us this is my time to shine, a playoff game. He has gone out and backed that up so far. Yeah, he's done everything that's been asked of him and more. Just a great job of getting into a rhythm. Really tough to defend. Right now, the defensive coordinator, you can see him down there. He's throwing his headset. He's frustrated. He's got to come up with some new wrinkles to try to slow this guy down. Quarterback pulls the ball. It's a keeper. The game is two yards, so it's second and eight. Not exactly the outcome this offense was hoping for here on the option. I'll give them credit. They didn't lose anything, so it wasn't a negative play. But this kind of play's got to be able to hit big and get down the sidelines for big yards. And he's able to find some running room. Nice pickup. Man, you know, the back gets a lot of the attention here. He's a good back. I love to see that offensive line win the battle of the line of scrimmage. Third and short, they hand the ball off. And they tackle him, but not before he picks up the first. Chris, the thing that I love about this play is the running back showing great patience and then the vision to find that hole and then accelerate through it for a nice game. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Chris, I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what's an offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. Tackled behind the line, it's a loss of two. Well, there's that excellent linebacker with a clear path just running down and go quickly. You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. It, he just has great instincts. That time, the defensive line ate up all the linemen, freed up the linebacker to get into the backfield, and the result is a tackle for a loss for the backer. A costly special teams penalty, and here comes the offense back on the field. The offense threatening now, first and goal. Handoff here from the shotgun. And they finally bring him down at the five. Offense really threatening now. Coming up, second down and goal. They'll try to power it in right up the middle. The junior able to bring him down quickly. When the defense is holding on for dear life, they've got a lead. It's late in the game. Just trying to keep this offense out of the end zone. Pressure is coming. They don't pick up the blitzers, and it's a sack. And now the defense decides to spend a timeout to regroup a bit. Well, you got to do a better job with your fake as the quarterback. The defense did not bite at all on the play action, allowing them to continue to come after the quarterback and come up with that sack. So on fourth down, it's an all-important field goal attempt. Hold your breath here. 
and he knocks that one right through. Well, they almost put a touchdown on the board, but instead they come away with three points. So after the field goal, the kicker out there again to boot it away. And here's the return from inside the five. And he'll be tackled at the 27. That's where the drive will start. So the Appalachian State offense back out on the field now. Looks like the QB is changing the play at the line. They'll use that running game trying to bleed the clock here. They bring him down to the 32-yard line. Chris, good job here on this stop, but remember the ball is inbounds and the clock keeps moving here late in the game when you're trailing. It's a defense. Got to start thinking about utilizing those timeouts. You got all three to use. What point are you going to start putting those into play? Takes it out to the 44. That's good for a first down. Yeah, I like this call here late in the game like this with the lead. Nothing too fancy. Just right up the middle. Trust that offensive line and this running back and just keep working that clock. Offense operating from the pistol. Ball handed off. Oh, they test the middle there, but get nothing. Well, that's an excellent effort here by this defense, staying in their run fits. they holding their own at the line and making the tackle. The offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get anything going there. They're going to run it. And he's brought down after a short gain does not make the first down yardage. We head now to the two-minute warning as this offense tries to bleed out the clock and secure this win. Big third down play. If they can't get the stop, they have to consider calling a timeout. He's not going to get the first down. It's fourth down. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. Here late in the game, they'll keep the offense on the field, trying to keep possession and stretch the lead. On fourth down, they'll try and run for it. And this offense picks up the first down. They tackle it at the 44. And now a timeout taken by the defense, trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. Here's that defense shifting again. They're pounding away with the running game. It's first and ten. Offense will keep it on the ground here. They get him down, but that's a solid game. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. Second down after that run on the previous play. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he's brought down, but he does have enough for the first down. Look, I realize on any play call, when it's properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. And the single back takes the handoff. Nowhere to run. No corral him for no game. No game there. This defense has begun sliced up on the drive, but they push back that time, Kirk. Yeah, kind of a bend but don't break mentality by this defense. They have been giving up some big chunks here on this drive, but let's see if a stop like this can give them a little bit of confidence here. Now try to pressure the quarterback on these upcoming plays. Well, he finally goes out of bounds down inside the 10, but that play sets up this offense in good scoring position. It sure does. What a great play of creating momentum for this offense. Now you want to see if they give this back a chance to put it into the end zone now that they're at first and goal. First and goal, they'll try to run it in. And tackled there by the defense. All right, here we go. This is really it. And the defense knows that if the offense is able to score here, it's essentially over. It's mano a mano at the line of scrimmage. Let's see which side can gain the most leverage. Couldn't quite get there. Brought down at the two. making some changes at the line. Urgency here in the fourth quarter. They must cut into this lead. It's third down and goal. And they're trying to punch it in here. And he runs it into the end zone. Touchdown, Mountaineers. 
first big touchdown here late in this game. They give him a seven-point lead. Now the big question is, do you go for one or go for two, potentially, to make it a two-possession game? Kicking team on now for the extra point. And they fake it and find the tight end. Big play by the defense. He stopped short, and it's still a one-score game. So after taking the lead, they'll kick it off here and hope the defense can hold on. And the return starts just inside the end zone. Tackled at the 14. Not very good field position to start here. And here comes the Tigers' offense back out there. So here we go. They need a touchdown. Got a little time to work with. How will they play this situation? Can't get it away. The defense has got him. What a huge stop at this stage of the game. They'll crank up the tempo here on second down. The time is running out. They need to score quickly here, trying to dial up some big plays. Let's go. Now in third and very long, looking to throw. There's a fastball, but it's intercepted. Big takeaway, now looking for a big return. Touchdown, App State. And the defense joins the party with a pick six. For the takeaway and the touchdown, that is just a dream play for any defender here. Well, let's start with the interception. I just love the fact that he got his eyes turned around, found the football, and then has the athletic ability to be able to secure it. Then he goes back to high school running back days and shows him what he can do with the ball in his hands and takes it all the way back for a touchdown. Beautiful thing. And they'll set up for the PAT. Extra point up and good. A two-touchdown lead here now in the fourth quarter. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. He's going to bring it out of the end zone from a couple yards deep. Tackled at the 14. Not very good field position to start here. And the Memphis offense is back out on the field now. It'll be interesting to see if this quarterback can bounce back and do a pick six in the last possession. And now in the final couple minutes, here's a deep shot. No one sails incomplete through too far. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Back to throw. It's Pennigan. Couldn't find anybody open and just has to throw it away. I, I really feel that this quarterback is rattled at this point. He's already been sacked a number of times. I think it's affecting his timing with his receivers. He'll drop back here on third down. But just gives up on the play, throws it away, and now it's fourth down. The offense stays on the field, down multiple possessions. Easy choice. Fourth down. He's throwing for it. Fires it to the wideout. And is intercepted. He's got some room and some blockers here. Touchdown, Mountaineers. Wow, what a play, a defensive score. How about the risky call here by this offense? I love that they're going for it on fourth down. Not so sure about the play call. The defense was not fooled at all. Steps in front of this throw for a nice touchdown. Of course, in the playoffs, it's to survive and advance. This is a crucial W, great performance, but now the stage gets even bigger. The challenges will continue going forward. Yeah, more and more pressure will grow as this team continues to win football games, but you and I have been around this team all year long. I'm so impressed with the emotions and how they're able to contain themselves, stay focused on the task at hand. They did that again today. They advance. Cannot wait to watch and see what they can do next week. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Curb Street, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.
Welcome everybody to beautiful Miami and Hard Rock City, site of this year's Capital One Orange Bowl, part, of course, of the college football playoff. We've reached the semifinal stage, one last hurdle to clear before the national championship game. And we'll find out here today which side has the toughness and the depth to keep driving toward that ultimate goal, the chance to raise that gold trophy over their heads as we'll see the number three seed in this playoff, the Appalachian State Mountaineers. Taking on the number two seed in the playoff, the Georgia Bulldogs. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined by Kirk Street, and here we go, a college football playoff semifinal. Which team will keep their national championship hopes alive today? Kickoff team out there. We are about to get cranked up for the semifinal collision. Returner looking to make a play here. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. So the App State Mountaineers offense will get the first swing today. I love being in Miami for the Orange Bowl. So much history and tradition. So many championships have been won in the... Looking to throw, it's Aguilar. Quarterback delivers complete to the right side. Breaks the tackle, gets into the clear. Good execution, gets a block, and gets the first down. Well, this is why they want to get his hands on the football as often as possible. We always know about his ability to make plays downfield, but here they just get it to him quick on a wide receiver screen. He shakes the tackle and picks up nice yards. Tackled behind the line, it's a loss of two. Things just appear to be a bit out of sync from the get-go on that one. Give credit to the front seven on that defense for staying in the proper lanes and getting to the ball carrier, not let him dance around and make something out of nothing. That's a big game deep into plus territory. They'll spot it near the 30. Big runs like this are just demoralizing for a defense. It's one thing to give up big plays over your head against the pass game. When teams can run the ball and pick up yards like this, really affects the team's mental psyche and their confidence. And you'll start to see some missed tackles following a play like this. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Getting set. Here's second down. There's the snap. Quarterback setting up the throw. Now the senior tries to take a shot, but overthrows his man. Well, they don't make the completion here. The timing seemed to be off between a quarterback and the receiver. But, man, this defensive coordinator, he may want to consider getting more pressure on this quarterback by changing some things up. He's got a lot of time back there to throw the ball. And eventually, it's going to cost you. They're finally able to stop him, but the defense is fooled a bit on that screen play. It's a solid game for a first down. Chris, that's another positive game for this offense, and this quarterback continues to show why he's had such a great year this year. When he has time to throw, he gets his feet set. He's as accurate as any quarterback in the country. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Coming to the line on second down, this is important. They want to avoid a third and long. Sticking with the running game. He's got a lane. Can he make the end zone? And he'll make it in for the score. Touchdown, Appalachian State. Chris, we get so caught up in this era of the spread, throwing the football, and the quarterback, and the receivers. This is a great example of the value of having a running back that has a nose for the end zone and can take it in for a touchdown. Now the important point after attempt. PAT makes it a seven point lead.
On third down, he drops to throw. Launching one to the end zone. And it's intercepted, a crushing play. It's a short return, but a takeaway for this defense. Wow, a risky call by the offensive coordinator playing with. hand it off breaking tackles breaking free at the 35 oh and he's in the clear now it's a foot race tackle but first down we knew that tackling was going to be a huge factor today Kirk. they don't bring him down and the result is a big game yeah where's the form tackling i know it's a lost art in today's game sometimes these guys just come in with their shoulders and just try to bring you down with with power and speed but they've got to do a much better job if they have any chance of slowing this back down or trying to use their arms to pull him down First down play call. How aggressive will it be? They'll run it here. The running back has the ball. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. And it's really solid defense on that play. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside handoff. And they finally stop it, but a decent game that time. You know, in the RPO game, the quarterback's got to make really sound decisions on that read. Either give it when it's the right time, or you pull it out and make the throw. Here, I think he's kind of in that gray area, decides to hand it off, and at least picked up some positive yards. Handing off on the draw play. They make the stop just short of the marker. It's going to be fourth down and inches. The back behind the quarterback now in the pistol. Clear movement before the snap, and it'll be a false start. False start. 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 And the head coach will decide to accept the penalty and take the yardage. So on fourth down, here comes a crucial field goal attempt. And the coach leaves his offense on the field to go for this one, needing to get a first down. Here we go, fourth down. They'll try to run for it. What down to the 22 to first down, very near the red zone now. He'll hand it off. Picks up two, so it's second and eight. Drive has reached the all important red zone. And they'll try to pick it up on the ground. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. And now the defense will call a timeout before this critical down just to get everybody on the same page. Solid gain in the running play. Third down now. Now the handoff. 
And they'll stop him just short of the mark. Good effort, but the defense holds. Now it's fourth down. And now the defense will call a timeout here. There's something they didn't like about that look. And they'll make an adjustment for this important play. Coach electing to go for a field goal attempt. What a moment for this kicker. A chance to put his team on top in the final minutes of this game. And a timeout is called. They'll talk it over. Tied late here in the fourth quarter. Tie ball game late, and they're going for it on fourth down. Trying to flex the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. Touchdown, Mountaineers. They jump in front here in the fourth. Give credit to this offense. They work some clock. They eventually get the ball in the end zone. Now they've got the lead. You kick the extra point, and you hope your defense can hold on so you can win this game. The offense still out there. They're going for two here. Keep it on the ground, trying to power in for the touchdown. He's going to make it into the end zone with a two-point try. Late stages here. The lead is now eight. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. Well, he thought about coming out, but instead takes a knee to bring the football to the 25-yard line. And the Bulldogs' offense is back out on the field. And that last touchdown drive, they just pounded away with the running game. Let's see if they can do it again. Cannot get the throw off. He's taken down with a huge play at this stage of the game. They'll have to hurry now. Second down with the clock ticking. Looking to throw. It's back. Catch is made behind the line of scrimmage. And he's brought down, but they went backwards after the completion. Good work by the defense. Now they've got to hustle to the line and get set. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. They'll be taken down. The defense rises up with a sack in a crucial moment. So here we go. Down one score. They're going to go for it on fourth down. They need to convert. He'll drop back. Looking for his big tight end. Finds a man to the left. Big catch downfield. And he stops short. Huge play for the defense on fourth down. They will take over, protecting this lead. So the job is simple here. Just take a knee, run out the clock, and begin the celebration. Well, that's a great performance in the pressure moment. But now the job gets even more exciting, even bigger, as they go on to the national championship game and play for that trophy. And this is a new era. I mean, think about the weeks, the amount of games that these guys have been able to play and to be able to accomplish this to get to the national championship. That says everything about the endurance of this football team, both mentally and physically. They get one more hurdle to see if they can become the national champs. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herb Street, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.
Welcome, everyone, to a piece of college football history as we crown this season's national champion. There's been so much that's gone into getting here, twists and turns, and now it builds to this, the battle for supremacy. And these two teams have survived the expanded playoff grind. They have battled through a regular season, multiple playoff victories, all sorts of challenges and adversity, and they've arrived at this moment to battle for that precious trophy. As we'll see the third seed in this playoff, the Appalachian State Mountaineers. Taking on a team from the Big Ten, the Oregon Ducks. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here as always by Kirk Herbstreit. Kirk, everything has been building to this. It's time for the national championship. Let's crown a champion. football national championship at stake fields it just outside the goal line and he'll be tackled after a solid effort on that return Matt Mayer's offense comes on the field first today well here we go Kirk the energy in this place is tremendous we are 60 minutes away from crowning a new national champion and think about it Chris these two teams have put everything into this to get to this stage and this opportunity let's see who can handle it better Quick throw to the left side, and he's got it. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Boy, Chris, great timing here with the quarterback against that zone defense, waiting just... Time to deliver it into that window to pick up a nice game. Fighting off the defender. And he's able to find some room before they finally bring him down. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play out. He's got it inside the 10. Touchdown, App State. No chance to catch it. Some of the crowd hasn't even settled in. We got points on the board. Buckle up, Kirk. I mean, this is amazing. This is exactly how you envision it with the long layoff, the height, the pressure, all the interviews you've done. And to be able to start off with an opening drive and a touchdown, couldn't have scripted it any better. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. With the catch, it's Roberts. Touchdown, Mountaineers. This quarterback on fire today. Who says you need explosive plays, Kirk? That was a long, winding scoring run. And think about this, this national chip. You're able to execute like that against this quality of a defense, and that is a great job by the coordinator and the quarterback being in sync and putting together a heck of a drive.
Hold on here a second. The replay booth has signaled they want to take another look at this one. So after taking a closer look, the officials are going to overturn that previous ruling on the field. First and goal for the offense. Let's go. Let's go. On the ground, trying to punch it in for the score. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. You get to the national championship, Chris, you'd love to see more balance. They've not been able to run the football the entire game, putting everything on this quarterback in their passing game. Oh, and he can't hang on. Wow, would have been a touchdown. Got to shake that off now. It's third down coming up. No gain on second down. Can they punch it in here? Third and goal from the two. On the ground, trying to power toward the goal line. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Chris, I'll be really honest with you. I don't know why they continue to try to run the football. I'm all about balance. I'm all about trying to make sure defense has to defend the run and the throw. But at this point in the game, they haven't been able to run the ball. They're going to have to go through the air if they're going to come back and take the lead in this game at some point. And he's not going to get there. The defense rises up and makes a huge fourth down stop. Fourth down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? They'll try the ground game here with the running back. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Well, there's something we haven't seen much in this game at all. That ball carrier being tackled near the line of scrimmage. Maybe if this defense can make more plays like that in the second half, their team will be able to chip away at this lead. Powers through. And they bring him down after a solid gain, but it's still well short of the first down mark. The offense will line up, chance for a couple more plays before the end of the quarter. Defense is coming after him. Now trapped behind the line, it'll be a short loss. So Kirk, as we break for the quarter, Oregon has the lead here. We've reached the end of the third quarter in this national championship battle that has lived up to the hype. Before the final period, let's check out the game stats. And here we go. It all comes down to this. Everything to play for. One quarter to decide who will win the national championship. No kick it away here. He's got some daylight turning on the speed. And the returner brought down by the coverage team. The App State offense goes back on the field. The last time they had it going, they got stopped on fourth and goal. They got to put that behind them now. Put together something here. Nice job here of controlling the line of scrimmage by this offensive line. The back does what he needs to do to get positive yards on first down. And the single back takes the handoff. We get him down, but not before he gets to the plus 38. All right, Chris, let's face it. Most of the offensive linemen today, they're big. You know, they weigh over 300 pounds. But that doesn't mean they don't have to have agility. And the way they can get out there in front of the runner, create space, sometimes it looks like they're going in one direction. And a runner uses his eyes to take him in another direction because he's been blocked so well. Love those misdirectional counterplays. And this one worked out really well for a nice piece of yards in the first down. The offense getting closer to a game-tying touchdown is first and ten. Looking to throw it from the red zone. Looking for a touchdown, but it's incomplete. That ball just seemed to sail on. You got to make sure to give your receiver a chance to be able to come down with a catch and bounce because in today's game, man, these receivers make catches like this all the time. And if you put the ball out of bounds, you're not going to give them that opportunity. Runner finding some space there. That's a solid gain on the ground. Looks like a man is down on the field after the last play, so we'll take a timeout. This is crucial. Defense needing a stop on third down, trying to force a field goal. Can he make it to the marker? And they stop him just short, but defense really backed up now. It's first and goal. The offense threatening close to the goal line with a new set of downs. Here's the handoff on first and goal. 
couldn't quite get in, but they're knocking on the door at the one. That's a good positive gain there on first and goal. And here we go. The closer you get, the tougher it gets to get the ball in. Fights his way in for the score. Touchdown, Appalachian State. Chris, it's a great touchdown run here by this back. But the continuity this offensive line was on display, and that's the reason he was able to get into the end zone. And FPAT gives us a tie ball game here in the final quarter. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. Bringing it out, it's low. And they've got the return of Corral. And the Ducks' powerful offense is back on the field. They were held to a quick three and out last time, looking to put together a positive drive here. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. Tackled behind the line, it's a loss of two. Went backwards on first down, so it's second and long here from the 10. He'll hand it off. The junior able to bring him down quickly. Back goes in motion now. Let's see how the defense adjusts. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. Tackle made at the 24-yard line. This offense really threatening now. That's another accurate throw by this quarterback. And Chris, when we did our prep to get ready for the national championship, we all knew that this quarterback potentially could have a big day. But I didn't expect him to get into this kind of zone. This guy cannot miss just having one of those dream performances. And the clock stops now for the two-minute warning as we head into the dramatic finish of this game. Completion good for first down yardage for this offense. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. Able to fight for a decent gain here in that running play. Now this defense is going to have to mix up some looks because this back has had a monster day in the national championship. Running inside, running outside, the defense has got to do a good job of locking in on him to negate his big playability. And now from the pistol formation. And there's the handoff. Tackled behind the line, it's a loss of two. Timeout called by the defense, their first of the half as they try to make some adjustments here. So on fourth down, out trots the place kicker in a very big spot here. This try is no good. He missed it. The game remains tied. And now a timeout quickly called by the defense as they try to get everybody on the same page here. First down here for this offense. Looking downfield, it's Gabriel. He's running out of time here. Can't get it away. The defense has got him. What a huge stop at the stage of the game. Now the timeout is called by the defense. They've got some things to work out here. Backed up the six-yard line. It's second and long. Here's the snap. Looking to throw. Bringing pressure. Looks like he's going to run it. And the defense smothers him for no gain. Well, a serious challenge for this offense. You don't want to be in third and long inside your own 20. How much of a risk will they take to try to pick up this first down? And this one goes nowhere. Lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. Defense takes their third and final time out of the half to talk strategy. Well, the back just had nowhere to go. How about the defensive line? They eat up all the blocks up front, freeing those linebackers up to be able to make the play. Just a bad play all around for this offense. And the coverage team pins him in and brings him down. So the Appalachian State offense back out on the field now. So here we go. One last chance to win it in regulation and avoid the risk of overtime. 
Gets made down inside the 15-yard line. Touchdown, Mountaineers. They have jumped in front in the final minute. Just so impressed by this offense and the way they've executed throughout most of this day. Now with the game on the line, they deliver and give them the go-ahead score. There's enough time, though, on the clock. The defense is going to have to go out there and make some plays to be able to win this game. And they get set now to try the PAT. PAT is up and good. The lead by a touchdown here in the fourth quarter. So after taking the lead, they'll kick it away here and hope their defense can make a stop on this final drive. Returner looking to create better field position. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the powerful Ducks offense retakes the field. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together in this drive? <laughs> Cannot get the throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this stage of the game. And a timeout on the field. We'll talk some strategy. A crucial moment here. Dropping back. It's Gabriel. Makes the throw across the middle of the field. Oh, a nice play by the defender. Got a hand in there to break up the pass. They'll get set, needing to score quickly now, looking for some big plays right here. Looking to throw it on third and very long. This one ends up a safety. Well, that's a wrap, Chris. This is now a two-possession game with the clock ticking down. This defense pretty much seals the win with that safety. Team out there to boot it away after giving up the safety. No fair catch. He feels the punt. So with the lead secure here, it's time to just take a knee, run out the clock, and plan the victory celebration. That's it. It's official. We have our national champions. A really entertaining one. It was fun one to call. They get the W, Kirk, in a shootout. Not much to criticize for either of these teams on the offensive side, where they put on a great show. But for the two defenses, especially the losing squad, you can't imagine their coach is too happy with their performance. Well, that's it. Dramatic punctuation to another outstanding season of college football. For Kirk Kerbstreet, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been a presentation of EA Sports College Football. Officially, your kings of the college football world and national champions, the Appalachian State Mountaineers.